So, you were saying before certain things like surplus and situations that probably are not so evident in our time that we're living. Are you a futuristic speaker? You're talking about a future, basically, when when you're explaining those concepts. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. I I feel that reality should be first and foremost created through the word. And in that requires an optimistic vision. I, I, it's like the shape of the universe. Pessimism and hatred and negative ideas, you know, maybe they, they may have a positive function in some way, but uh, I, I don't and negative we know in the world of physics there's, there's a positive and negative there's on and off or there's plus and there's ones and zeros so uh, so but words are so functional as instruments that one can't afford to create dysfunctional words which create havoc and uh, hatefulness uh, and so quite the opposite from the same alphabet emotional alphabet one cre can create structures and new structures which uh, which you know take stress and turn it into into uh, into opportunity plus exercise and uh, I, we, this idea of neuroplasticity um, with with audio vibrational new new neuronics. I mean voice, voice and the nuance of has so many different uh, as so so many different. Uh, it's it's it, it's like smell uh, and it's like. Uh, it's it's uh, like taste, and it's like our, our our varied emotions. It probably it just it probably is. I mean, they say that it, these are vibrations. Uh, that these are how uh, string theory say that this is how uh, this is how the world vibrates, but. Uh, the shape of the universe is in, I feel, is in in positive in positive things, and one should uh, uh, in in one in, in intellectual instruments, uh, you bring together a cacophony of different influences and variations, but they should have a positive stance. And if you would give it a title, so what title would it be? Uh, 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 a, th a theology of surplus. Uh, a theology of surplus uh, is presuming that very, very quickly we're going to have humanity is going to have everything that it, it needs. I think that that is clear. If unless you get it wrong by some sort of crazy, and the only crazies could be would be government. Or corporations, because AI will just like electricity in the home. It hasn't caused anything on its own. It it will it can be used by people to, in the, the, for the electric chair, or it could be used for the underground railway. <laughs> but it um but so it uh, I I think that AI in the hands of individuals and creative groups, but individuals, every individual as a must, and then creative groups, and then. Uh, they can. They they've got incredible tools. They've got tools of governments to, to do whatever they will. So, uh, but in so in this time of surplus, where food is grown and we can grab, what will we do? So we want to. I, I think manifest the imagination. To, and in doing so. One requires the tools to do so, 
and the tools should be the best tools, and therefore they should have optimism, they should be guided, they could be structured tools to bring about incredible, incredible things. Uh, it, it, it's, mm, it's hard to know where the limit is. <laughs>